All right then, gang. So if we take our design down to about tablet width, which is roughly here, things start to get a little bit squashed. Ideally, what I'd like to do is change the width of the columns at this kind of screen size and maybe even move one of them onto the next row down below to give the other two a bit more breathing room. So we need to be able to control the column widths at different screen sizes. Now Bulma gives us a way to apply certain classes at different screen widths by using responsive class suffixes. These suffixes are hyphen mobile, hyphen tablet, hyphen desktop, hyphen widescreen and hyphen full HD. So we can add them onto the end of some Bulma classes to style things a little bit differently at different screen sizes. For example, if I use the class is size one on an element, it will automatically apply that font size at all widths. But if I add is size one hyphen desktop, it will only apply that font size at desktop sizes and up. If I instead use is size one hyphen tablet, it's gonna apply that font size to tablet sizes and up desktop included. So I can also add different values for different screen sizes. So I could say something like is size three mobile to apply this font size to mobiles and up. But then when it reaches desktop, it's going to be is size one for that size screen and up. So we can also apply these responsive classes to other things as well, like column widths. So I could say something like this column and then is six tablets and up and is four for desktop and up. Now remember also, all of the columns are gonna stack one on top of the other for mobiles automatically. So we don't need to do is 12 hyphen mobile or anything like that. That happens for us automatically. Now these responsive suffixes cannot be added to every single class in Bulma, just some of them, but the text size is one of them and the column width is another. So let's try this out in our page design. So the first thing I want to do is make this text size right here a little bit smaller for mobiles and tablets because I think that looks a bit big considering the screen size. So that stuff is right here and you can see at the minute we have the H1 which is is size one across all screen sizes and is size two for the H2 across all screen sizes. Now these things here, I want to apply them only to desktop and up. Now if we do that and preview, save it, then we can see at small screens like this it's much smaller and on large screens it's a bit bigger. Now if you wanted to manually change this for smaller screens as well you could do. We could come down here and say is size hyphen three hyphen mobile so that's mobiles and up until we reach desktop where it's size one and then down here we could say is hyphen size three as well for mobile. So they're both the same size on mobile screens. And if I make this, let's save it and come over here. If I come over here now, we can see now these are both the same size for mobiles and they're size three. If we get larger screens, then it's size six or rather one, sorry, and size two. Okay. So that's the text sorted. The next thing I want to do is change the width of the columns. Now on this kind of size right here, what I'd like to do is bring this column onto the next line and make it full width. And then this thing right here and this thing right here can both have six columns of width. So the space is shared equally between these two. So let's do that. Let's first of all come to this column at the top. Now this is three. It should only be applied to desktop and up. So let's correctly spell that. And then the same for this is five, that's the image. So that's desktop as well. And then is four for the last column for desktop as well. So only now at desktop sizes, will it be that size columns, okay? And then when we get to the tablet at the minute, what it's doing now is sharing it equally because we don't have specific column widths for tablet. But what I want to do now is apply different widths for the tablets. So I'm going to say for the first one on the left is hyphen six hyphen tablet. And then for the second one, the image is hyphen six hyphen tablet. So they both take up half of the screen essentially on tablets. And then the bottom one is going to be 12 for tablets. So is hyphen 12 hyphen tablet. That means the full width. 
Now, what's going to happen? Because now we're essentially using 12 columns here and 12 columns here. That's 24 in total. We don't have enough width for that. Now, if I save this and preview it, notice we see these two, but the other one is way off the screen to the right because there's not enough room for it in this row. It doesn't automatically go underneath. Now, if I want it to go underneath, what I need to do is come to the columns wrapper here and I need to add is hyphen multi-line like so. Now, this is saying, look, if we don't have enough room in the single row for all of these different column widths, then just go to the next line and this can go in the next row and take up columns on that line. So if we save it and preview, now we can see this on the next line down and that looks a bit better, okay? So for desktop, we have those original column widths. Then we get to tablets where it goes to six on the left, six on the right, and then this one at the bottom. And then on mobiles, by default, remember, they all stack on top of each other. Okay, so that looks okay now. So the last thing I want to do is create a section down here for the next bit of content. And that is gonna be two bits of content. On the left, we're gonna have some tabs which describes product information and maybe the delivery information. Then on the right, some kind of little message about a coffee club. So let's create this section and we'll give this a class of section like so. And then we'll do a container. So div dot container. Can I spell it? Nope. There we go. And inside that we want some columns. So div dot columns like so. And then inside here, we want two pieces of content. So div.column, and then let me duplicate that like so. Okay, so the first column on the left is gonna be seven columns in width, but only from tablet upwards. So I'm gonna say is hyphen seven hyphen tablet, and that's gonna apply to all screen sizes, tablet and up. So we don't need to do anything else for desktop. And remember, mobiles, they're gonna stack on top of each other anyway. So. For this one, it's gonna be is five because five out of seven is 12, hyphen tablet like so. Now, what I'm gonna do is just a load of lorem ipsum here so we can see this in action. So lorem 30 tab, and then the same in here, p tag and lorem 30 tab, and save this and preview. And if we stretch this out, we can see this is seven columns in width, and this is five columns in width. When we get below tablet, so to mobile, they stack on top of each other, all right? But until then, when we get to tablet, it goes left to right. So that's sorted, but I also want to do one more thing. I want to make the gap between the two columns a little bit wider. Now, the way we do that is by going to the columns wrapper right here, and then we can just say is hyphen and then a number, one to eight, and this is gonna be eight. Now, if I save that, it's not gonna work as is, and that's because it needs another class as well when we use this column gap, and that is is hyphen variable, like so. So if we want to increase the gap, we need both of these classes, is variable, and then is whatever number gap we want. If I save it, we can now see the gap there is a bit bigger between those two pieces of content, all right? Okay, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully now you can see how we use these different responsive classes to get different column widths and font sizes at different screen sizes. Like I said, in the next video, we're gonna address this bit of content right here, which is gonna be tabbed content.